Hi guys, today I'll be showing you 10 must-have tweaks currently supported by iOS 13 jailbreak. The link to all these tweaks are in the description, you can check them out. So the first tweak is called Cool CC. So if you scroll down here, the notification center, you can see the clean look of my new control center widgets. It has color surrounding each of the control center widget. It works exactly the same, you can see. It just have the border around it. It just looks really cool. You can change the color of these to any color you like. Currently I'm using yellow. You just go to settings, tweaks, and then you go to cool CC. And here, the border setting. You can choose 1px, 2px, or 3px. This is the thickness of the border. You can change the color here. You can choose any color you like. Let's say this one. And then at the top you can see the word spring. Click on that. Click yes. And scroll down. You can see the color. It is now changed to pink. That's called Cool CC. Tweak number two is called App Store Plus Plus. Basically what this tweak does is that it allows you to download the older version of any apps in the App Store. Let's say you want to download something. Let's say Clash of Clans here. Click on it. Usually when you click on the Cloud button or the Get button if you haven't purchased it yet, it will download the current version, like in this situation 11.866. But after you install App Store Plus Plus, you just click press hold on the Get button or the Cloud button here. It will show you these options. Upgrade, downgrade, menu install, lock updates. Just click on the first one. Downgrade, upgrade. Wait for it. You can see the older versions. Sometimes you cannot download some of these because the developer of the app has already removed it. Because not all apps still have the older version available. But at least it provides you the options like this. Now let's say I want to download to let's say 11.651. Click on that. You see it start downloading. You just have to wait for it. It won't take long. It just depends on your internet connection. Now it's done. You can even see the word update there because it's on the older version. You go to settings, you scroll down, go to general, go to iPhone storage, scroll down, right here, clash of plants, click on it. You can see the version is 11.651. See, this is really cool. You can download any older version of any of your favorite apps. Okay, this is tweak number two. Let's move on to tweak number three. Tweak number three is called Swipe Selection X. This is the old tweak, but it is a must-have tweak because Apple does not allow you to move the cursor, the typing cursor, between each letter of the words yet. As you type something, with the built-in feature, you have to press hold like that, and then you can move the typing cursor between each letter. But after you install Swipe Selection X, you don't have to press hold. You can use any row of the key here. See? It just moves between letters. Any row of the key here, it works. That's Swipe Selection X. The next tweak is called Shuffle. As you can see here, if you go to my settings, you see that my features are categorized in very simple but clean look. You can see it's very short here. If you install lots of apps, it would have a long list down to the bottom. But after you install Shuffle, it just organized and put the tweaks and apps in the very neat folders like that. Like tweaks, they put it in one place. You go to tweaks and you have all the tweaks here. You go to apps, you see all your apps here in one place. System apps. And then the other features are down here. It's just very clean, very organized. That's Shuffle. You can also make some changes to it as well. Go to Shuffle here. So you can see here, you can move to top. You can enable 3D Touch and other features as well here. The 3D Touch, like you press hold on each of these, like 5-5, five, five, press hold on it. See, like that. Without Shuffle, you cannot 3D Touch on any of these features. Here, yeah, you see. You can 3D touch any of them. 
Let's call shuffle. This is tweak number four. Let's move on to tweak number five. Tweak number five is called kill background 13. Again, it's the old tweak, but it has been updated for iOS 13. As its name suggests, what this tweak does is that it allows you to kill or quit the apps that are still running in the background. You can see these are the apps that are still running in the background. Let's say open some more. So all of these are running in the background. After you install this tweak, go to settings, tweaks, kill background 13, and you just change some settings first, like kill with swipe down, confirm kill with swipe down. You can confirm it first before you kill it. Kill music, you can turn it off or on. Auto close switcher. That means after you quit those app, it will go back to home screen. After all set, you can quit the app. So you just activate app switcher. And then, I just swipe down, it will quit all of it. Just swipe down here. Done. You try to activate app switcher again, you don't see any apps running. It's really cool. That's kill background 13. The next tweak, tweak number 6, is called CC on and off. So what this tweak does is that it allows you to completely turn off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggle. As you know that if you try to turn Wi-Fi Bluetooth off, you can only turn it off for today. And tomorrow it will be back on. And it's not completely off. It just stops searching for any Bluetooth or Wi-Fi around you. But after you install this tweak called CC on and off, if you click on it, it will be completely off. Like Bluetooth, press on it, it's off. You see it says off. These two off. If you go to settings, it's off. And if you scroll down, you turn it back on, see it's on. That's CC on and off. The next tweak, tweak number 7 is called Eye Cleaner. Again, this is another great and must-have tweak that you should install after you jailbreak iOS 13. Because it allows you to clean any junk files and then you can get some storage back. Because after you use your phone for a while, there will be a lot of junk files mounting inside your iPhone. This is the great way to get it back. And you can see here, they say iCleaner version 7.7.5. That's not officially support iOS 13.2.2 jailbreak yet, but it works. It says this, but it still works. Let's go to the settings here to see my storage. General about. My available storage right now is 18.26 gigabytes. Let's clean the junk files to get some storage back. Click on clean here. It will start cleaning. It won't take long. Just quit the ad. You can see, you say free space, 624 megabytes back. Click yes, there is spring. Okay, now we go back to settings, general, about, you can see right now I get 1895, so I get 600 megabytes back. I have just cleaned it recently, so I only get 600 megabytes, but if you haven't cleaned it for a long time, then you will get a lot, like 1 or 2 gigabytes back. That's iCleaner. The next tweak is called Liberty Light. Again, this is another must-have tweak that I always install after I jailbreak my iOS device. What this tweak does is that it allows you to hide the jailbreak status on your iOS device. Because some apps only work when your device is not jailbroken for security reason. I give you an example. This app here currently is working because I have Liberty Light installed. So after you install, you go to settings, go to tweaks. You go to Liberty Light and you enable it. Block jailbreak detection here. Scroll down. Here, success factors app at the moment. If I turn this off, and I go back to it, you see here, it's an arrow. Success Factors Mobile application is not allowed to be activated on a jailbroken device. However, if I turn it back on, turn it back on, make sure you quit it first, go back to it, 
see now it allows me to use the app again it's just really great at blocking jailbreak status that's liberty light the next tweak tweak number nine is called bioprotect access again it's the old tweak but it has been upgraded to support ios 13 jailbreak what bioprotect access does is that it allows you to protect any of your apps or features on your ios device from being accessed by other people let's say this app here I click on it, you see BioProtect, they cannot access my app because it is protected by BioProtect. So if we go to settings here, tweaks here, and then we go to BioProtect access, you can see the features here. You can go here and change the settings by yourself to the way you want it to be. But mostly I use it for protecting my applications. Go to applications here, and then any app you want to protect, just turn it on. Let's say my messages. Turn this on, and if I click on messages, again, by attack, I have to scan my finger to be able to use it. So with this tweak, no one can access any apps or features on your iOS devices without your permission. That's tweak number nine. Let's move on to the last tweak of the list. The last tweak is called pencil charging indicator. What this tweak does is that it provides you with a cool animation. When you plug in a charging cable to your phone, it will pop up the pencil charging indicator. It looks like uh, when you plug in or you attach Apple Pencil, it will show you similar like that. Let me show you an example here. So plug in the cable. You want to look at the top here. You can see at the top, again, You can see that's the Apple Pencil charging indicator. You can change that as well. Go to settings, tweaks, and you will see pencil indicator here. You can change the appearance to the way you want it, like light, like this. It's bright light, it's white, dark, blur, dark blur, automatic solid. I usually prefer dark, it looks really cool. I mean, just extra look when you charge your device. It looks awesome with this tweak. Okay, that's it, guys. These are 10 must-have tweaks that are currently supported by our 13 jailbreak. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.